Jello again. Today I'm taking a look at Transformers Collectors Club Animated Cheetor. Cheetor is a futuristic yellowish orange racing car with black spot detailing on the top, front, and sides of the vehicle. He's got green headlights, red tail lights, and a prominent Autobot symbol on the car's hood. Front wheels are nothing special and roll as you would expect. The rear wheels though, how unconventional. Seemingly out of something like Tron, they're hollow with no axle to rotate around. In fact, the wheels are mostly stationary, only the middle parts actually turn. While this hinders the vehicle's rolling just slightly, it's not so bad. Less forgivable is the rear of the vehicle. There's a blatant gap exposing the robot mode's head and chest. It definitely puts a damper on an otherwise sleek looking car, and I'm giving alt mode a score of 7.5. Cheetor's transformation is not overly complex. It's one of those conversions where the front of the vehicle folds up towards the back and the back flips to the front. For the most part, it's a fun transformation, and I'm giving it an 8.5. Cheetor's robot mode is tall, thin, and a bit wiry. His face and head sculpt are very reminiscent of Beast-era Cheetor, which the figure homages. Pity it's a little difficult to pick out his light green eyes against the shiny silver of the rest of his face. There's more of that light green color highlighting his robot mode elsewhere but it's much easier to spot. His chest sports another prominent Autobot symbol, always a plus in my book. His feet are comprised of these two separate tiny pieces, yet he has no trouble standing at all. A small flap on the back of his alt mode serves as his only kibble, and can hardly be called a backpack. Yes, he has that Transformers animated aesthetic, and no, maybe it isn't for everyone. But I quite like it, and so Robot Mode gets a score of 8.5. Cheetor's articulation is very good indeed. He's mostly made up of ball joints, giving him a wide range of movement. The panels on his elbows can be a hindrance, and his knees sit a little high up on his legs for me, but neither of those things ruin the figure. I'm giving articulation a score of 8. The one gimmick that Cheetor has is that the car's hood becomes his weapon. Pressing down on the Autobot symbol releases his energy saw. He can't hold the weapon in his hands. Instead, it attaches via a peg to the side of his arm. The piece can also attach to his back flap for storage. Not a terrible gimmick, but not terribly great either. I'm giving it a 7.5. Overall, Cheetor scores an 8. Walt mode is mostly good. Transformation is mostly fun. Robot mode is pure animated. Articulation is nice. Gimmick is less nice. Recommended. Being a collector's club exclusive means Cheetor may be a bit pricey for some. Still, He's a welcome addition to anyone's animated shelf and a must-have for Cheetor fans. Alright, well, another review down. Time to put this guy back in his packaging. There. And there. Uh. So, right? It's alright.